Hello everybody, welcome back to Monster Hunter 3 and I am very very sorry for the last part. If you don't know what I mean, I was using a new setting that someone, you know, nicely pointed out to me because I was complaining that I couldn't hear the game very well if I didn't want it picked up by my mic, that you could change the sound, in sound output to the gamepad. So everything came out of the gamepad, which was fantastic. However, it meant that the recorded footage was mute. So I am very very sorry. I put some extra music over it so you weren't just listening to me in utter silence. I hope that made up for it. I didn't want to record it again because I wanted my first my first reaction to the Oregon on film. And anyway, today I haven't done the capture quest yet either because this is the next day. Today I'm doing Denizen, Denizen of the Molten Deep. So that's what the D stood for and it's the Agnactor. So the Oregon was not a particularly challenging creature if I do say so myself. Which leads me to believe that this is the one that the two people who have been kind of giggling about the fights I'm coming up on were talking about. So... I'm loaded up on every kind of herb and medicine you can think of, apart from the really good ones, unfortunately, because I couldn't find the damn mushrooms to make them. Uh, so yeah, I'm really ultra paranoid about this fight. Now, I totally forgot to mention, I am using a new sword. I've been mucking around with upgrading long swords via different progression paths. Oh, I, I bought some of them at the store, that's why I can't take that. Oh well. I forgot to put them in storage, never mind. Yeah, so I am using a ice-based katana. I think that's actually fairly stupid because I'm pretty sure it would need to be water to be damaging against what I presume is a fire-based creature. This is going by the fact that it's in the volcano plus, and you know, if you look at the picture, it's basically bright red. So that screams fire mob to me, but I could be wrong. Either way, the, I am using an ice katana and that's what it looks like. Quite frankly, it looks like Toshiro Hitsugoya should be using it and I, I can summon Hyorimaru with it, but that's part of the reason why I'm using it, because I love the design. I'm hoping that even if this thing isn't weak to ice, and you know, if it's fire-based, it's very unlikely, because usually it's, if you're fire-based, you're weak to water, not ice. Uh, fire is usually strong against ice. I hope that doesn't mean I'm doing less damage, just that I'm not doing bonus extra damage. And my dog is barking, of course the dog's barking, because I'm recording, she knows, she's bloody psychic. Now like I mentioned briefly, I was, um, I was, I am, oh, and we found what I'm looking for. I'm recording this the day right after I've recorded the Oregon video, so I haven't posted it or anything yet. Is it swimming through, it is, it's swimming through the walls. Some kind of worm. Oh, right, so it's like the parent of those, the little things that are usually in this exact area I just walked into. That looks like a reskinned Lacaricris. I don't like the looks of that at all. Lacaricris is a pretty big pain in my ass that I had to kill a lot of though. Oh, I forgot to use our cold drink. Don't attack me yet. I'm, I'm. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Okay, time in, time in. Get back to my paintball here. Yeah, so these are your little babies, are they? I, I've killed quite a few of those. Got you right in the eyes. Right, so let's see. I'm just trying to, I'm being overly cautious, I know, but I am ultra paranoid after. Oh, man, I, sh I should have expected the, the... Look what you did to your own baby, you bastard! Let's see if I can chip this thing. Okay, I didn't cut through its leg. That's not good. What about its tail? No, I'm bouncing off everything. Something's going on here. It did that kind of chin drop that the Urigan did. Oh, that's the body slam. Yep, I'm used to that. That's what the Lacaricris does. Where the hell am I supposed to hit this thing? Oh, hang on a minute, it's glowing. Oh! This isn't anime, you don't get to do laser beams. Right, so I can hit the the glowy bit. Is everything else immune on it? No wonder they were saying that this was going to be bloody hard. I can only hit the glowy bits? It's like a Zelda boss or something. Oi! Where the hell do you think you're going? Oh, you're going absolutely nowhere. Oh, hang on a minute, more of it's glowing. I'm confused. Why is it glowing? Is that because it's going underground? Ooh, that was an impressive jump. Right, so does that mean I can hurt all of it now? Does it hurt me when I touch this stuff? Right, so if it's glowing I can hurt it, if it's not glowing I can't. I don't know why jumping into the ground made... Stop being anime! <laughs> I don't know why going into the ground made it glow. Oh, unless it's lava right under this of course and it's the lava that's doing it, but I thought the lava would help it, not like give it a weak point for me to hit. Oh, I might test a new thing. Oh, you totally can! Uh, yeah, I, I totally didn't use it to my advantage there, but I was shown by... What was your name on Steam? I always forget if it's Ippo or Ino. It wouldn't be Ino, because that's dog in Japanese. It would probably be Ippo. Either way, he showed me a video that Capcom's official Unity YouTube channel daily did for the longsword fighting style in Monster Hunter, 
and it had like fan provided tips and tricks on how to use it better. Most of the stuff I know and already do, but the one that I didn't know was that during the, the spirit combo, or whatever it's officially called, you can actually intersperse it with regular attacks and keep the combo going, working up to the buff damage for when you finish the combo. So right now, if I understand things correctly, I can only hit its face, because its belly isn't even making a, a glowy shape. Come on, let me smack you in the face once, just to confirm my theory. Ah. Nope. Although, because it does that kind of nose smash, that would explain why its nose is glowing. Just sit still long enough for me to smack you in the face, please. Or not. Yeah, this is going to be a tough fight. It's basically immune unless it's in this state, and... Go and fire a laser or something. Give me lots of time. Oh no, it's a body slam! Yeah. It's doing quite a lot of damage to me as well, considering I am wearing the... the Rathalos armor, which is strong against fire. I'm using the same food I used last time, which is really good against fire. It gives you fire defense up. It's another body slam. There we go. Yeah, so this is a, a toughie. I'm going to be really uh, annoyed if it was the Urgen that people were thinking were the really bad thing and this was supposed to be the easy thing and I find this difficult. But still, yeah, it's, it's made me burn through all my first aids. Or it will have made me burn through all my first aids right now. I should really be using those bombs when it goes underground, I think. No, wait, no, that's easy shock. What the hell? <laughs> Did like a corkscrew slash barrel roll. Yes, my eye can hear you. I know the the monster's annoying you. The Agnactor. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that properly. Ooh, I did not like that at all. Did I chip something off it? Nah. Oh, it's. Ooh, okay, that was very very close. It does some kind of like chittering teeth thing before it fires that. So there is a tail. Oh, it's going to do it again. Yep, okay, right. I know the tail for that attack now. So it's pretty quick though. Could you kindly get the hell out of the lava? Oh, thank you. Yep, okay, now stand still. Thank you for the heal. That's perfect timing. And I'm going to walk into that. Yeah. That's the attack I really hate from the Lucaricrus as well. Luckily, in the Lucaricrusses, that's a hard word to say over and over. In the Blue Monster fight, it's lucky that he's barely ever on lat. Oh, he's going to do the beam. Did he just fire into the air? Oh, he's doing like some kind of super one. Alright, well, if I'm right next to you, that doesn't matter because you can't touch me. Let's intersperse some of these. Yeah, you can. You can totally just keep the combo going, do regular attacks, and then go back to the combo. That is really nice. Oh, okay. Well, I'm kind of glad that you knocked me over because I'm fairly certain that attack would have done more damage to me. Where are you going? Is that a change area? Mm, no, that's a go for a little swimming acid lava. That's not acid. Why the hell did I say acid? Did it change area? No, the highlight is still here and I'm doing the fast run every so often. Oh, it did change area. It's moved to area 5. Okay. This is area 6 I'm running to. Why would I run to area 6? Nobody wants to go to area 6. Phew, Kumba rage no good for her, and then it, the subtitle disappeared too quickly. Now what will he be feasting on here? The, the rhinoceros type thingies? Yeah, he's murdered one of them, bloody hell. Oi, I don't mean to interrupt your meal, but I am going to interrupt your meal. You're just going to sit there and let me hit you, I'm okay, okay with that. Ah, see, look, yeah, he's gone dark. Can I even do the combo through it? Because sometimes the combo actually overwrites monster immunity, I noticed. Didn't seem to in that case. His design looks far more intimidating when he's not all bright. Ah, no, he dug his head... Yeah, he dug his head only into the ground there, and sure enough, his head started being highlighted. So it's the lava that's doing it. Did I get a wave into there? No, I got a firestone. Oh, I think I need them for some of the higher tier crafting. Yeah, go and ram him for him. For him. For once, instead of me. Oh, he's going to roll. Nope, he's going to dig. Don't you look at me like that, Rhinoceros Face, or I will smack you. Oh no, it's the one where he moves, and it flicks Burn. I suppose that's to be expected, really. Burn, I'm not too worried about because of what I'm wearing. Come on, have at it. No, 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 don't have at it, I'm busy. Why don't you go to one of the areas with water? That, no, wait, no, that basically means invincible, I assume. I might be dazed. Dizzy dazed? No? Okay, I'm kind of surprised at that. And since he's taking his sweet time in the ground again... Oh wait, he was doing some kind of shark thing there. Right. Oh, I wasn't sure where he was going to land there. Oh, he's chittering his teeth. Beam. 
Nope. E. Nope. I could have sworn he did his like teeth charring thing. Now, because I'm recording this on the day after I did the Agnactor video, I don't have anything new to talk about. Oh, this is that one where he's going to spin again. No, that is so unfair that he knew to come after me first. Whatever, I'll just charge at you anyway. Nom nom nom, and then he just gnashes his teeth a little bit, whatever. Yeah, I don't have anything new to talk about. I don't think I missed anything. At least nothing came to mind after I finished that, like, oh no, I forgot to mention so-and-so. That was more of me kind of biting my knuckle at how annoying it was when I went and checked the footage right after and found that indeed it was muted and my... I was right when I, like, mused out loud that it might be that way when I was recording. And I should have trusted my instinct and just, you know, fixed it there and then rather than waiting. But... I think I'm probably more annoyed at it than any other people. And it did give me a chance to try out using some of the royalty-free music that YouTube provides. And the library it provides you with is actually pretty substantial and, you know, kind of also further detracts from the value of multi-channel networks that use We have free, royalty-free music for you to use. Yeah, YouTube does as well, and YouTube has a lot. So I used some from the... I can't remember, I think it was from the cinematic menu. But yeah, I'm looking into using a lot more for a couple of reasons, although one main reason is because YouTube's answer to the blatant abuse of the copyright system for game-related OSTs is, you know, why don't you just turn the game music off? I'm actually uploading as I do this a test of that. I'm doing a playthrough of the Dragon Ball Battle of Z demo and I put the music basically down to nothing because I'm curious if I will get a claim on it or not because demos are actually hotbeds for that kind of stuff since even other game uh, reporting organizations love to think they own the copyright on demos and official trailers. You know, IGN is notoriously bad for that. So yeah, I'm uploading it as a test as we speak. If you don't see that video, chances are it did get a claim and I just deleted it. And that would be bad though, because I really do want to cover that game. I'm looking forward to a, a cooperative Dragon Ball game. And I do love my Dragon Ball. It's the first anime, long-running anime anyway, ignoring kind of manga movies, etc. That I got into when I was a kid. Right, Mr. Glowy Weak Spot. Can you... Oh, I think he might be in rage mode. Let me see him move again. Where are you? Also, I want to reapply... You've changed areas. You've gone to area 8. Right. Is that area 8? I'm so far away from my television to speak directly into my microphone, I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. Oh, what? do I still have my Felvine bomb on me from last time? I don't think I stored it. Oh, no, I don't. Because the Felvines are in this area. Let me just eat a well done steak. Oh yeah, I don't interrupt you when you're... Well, actually, yeah, I do. Never mind. I won't even finish that, what I was saying, because it's entirely lies. I wish I'd brought the Felvine bomb there. Or if I'd just left it in my inventory from last time rather than storing it. Ah, my, um... Oh, laser, and it's the spammy one. Get really close. Oh, god damn it, that is so annoying. I still need paint bomb. There's my paint ball. There we go. So obviously he's not firing randomly, although it looks like he's firing randomly when he lets that beam off. He is specifically aiming for you, it just makes it look like it's not. But that's only my first Mega Potion down. I have been using herbs, which I don't usually have on me, but I was so utterly paranoid that something horrible was going to happen that I brought every Healy Dealy I had access to with me. The only thing I didn't bring was a... I've got that Mega Medicine or whatever, which put your HP cap back up to full, which would be good I suppose if you do actually get knocked out once or twice in a fight. Get away from me cat! I might be dazed now because I think that was three hits in succession. Nope, he's doing this an awful lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just walking around like doing some kind of wobbly dance if you don't mind. I wonder if you can get your tail cut off. The Lakari Chris could, so, you know, you're kind of brethren, right? Am I, oh, am I losing health because I'm not... Yeah, I, my cold resistance must have worn off at some point. I wasn't paying attention. Well, actually, no, I was when I moved into the area. I was thinking, oh, I bet this will happen soon. I better wait. But it must have happened prior to that, and I just didn't realise. So... Oh, you're going to do a roll into the ground. Can I hit you as you do that? Probably not. Wee! Come on, now do your laser thing, because I'm right next to you and won't get hit by it. No, you'll do that, of course you will. It's probably programmed to only do it when I am far enough away that there is potential for being hit by it. Like now, for instance. But ha-ha! 
Thank you for the heals. And I did intersperse only one extra attack there. I'm getting used to doing that. That's, uh, I'm totally new to doing that. But I do have the, the first tier damage buff. A whole 2 or 3% more damage, whatever it was. Oh, wow, look how fast he is. That is definitely rage. Jesus. That's amazing speed. That is impressive. While you're doing that, I'll just get my stamina back. Oh, he just blew up that poor cat. <laughs> get that. Oh, I could land a hit. Oh, did I chip your face there? I kind of hope I did. Oh, parts of them are cooling down, I guess. And you're way back into the lava, are you? Oi! Get over here! Maybe. Have you changed areas? It's always hard to tell. Yes, he did. He changed areas to area 7, so if I run down here, hopefully Cha Cha and Kyumba will stick with me. Let's go. How long have we been going so far? It's about 16 minutes. I'd say we're probably halfway through the fight. That's what it feels like to me as well. Even with before I looked at the time, I was going to say I'm, I bet I'm halfway done. At least I hope I am. Yeah, get out of the, the lava and fight me like a man. I seem to be saying that an awful lot of enemies because they keep on hiding from me. That's why. Hiding underground, hiding in different areas, you know, hiding in burning lava. Don't fire your beam at me. Come over here and get me. Ah, a boy. Oh, I don't think I can hit this bit. Oh, I can. It doesn't. It isn't glowing as much as it was before, and yet I can still hit it. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Maybe I've done enough damage that he's constantly wounded there, or not as protected. Yeah, you're going to do that an awful lot. I probably should be doing my invincibility frames, but thank you. That was a really well timed heal. No, no, that was weird. I definitely saw his knee was fully glowing, and yet that hit got deflected. Do I need to? I don't think I need to affect my durability yet. Where are you? I see a shadow. Oh, there you are. <laughs> you were going right over my head. Uh-huh. I'm going to land. And then make me shake for much longer than you actually made the ground shake. Uh, I, I think... Ah, now my weapon is decreased. I can see it happening, I swear. Yeah, I think I've done enough damage to him now that he's not getting full protection from doing the, the whatever it is that he's doing. Alright, you do that and I'll just hang around by your ass, sharpening my weapon in one fell swoop. I mean, other than the making himself practically immune to stuff thing, he's no more or less annoying than the little character. Did I chop off his tail? Mm, I don't think I did. You know, using a nice weapon would kind of cool down his skin, right? So technically it should be a detriment, if anything. I don't think it's that in depth, but you know. I also think that this will possibly be his nest because it's where the most lava is that he can easily walk into. Oi! Don't go rolling around in the lava, get out here! I know you're here because I'm doing the run. Uh, where are you? I'm not long, I'm no longer doing the run. He went back. Oh, bloody geysers. He went back to area. That's the things that spit fire at the floor, not the people who come to your door on Halloween. Although they are fairly annoying as well. Free candy? Piss off! Actually, we don't get those geysers in... I don't know if it's the UK or just specifically Scotland. Oh, you went back to Norman, another one of those poor bastards. Right, now you're still semi-glowing. Can I wound you? I can. Excellent. I'm going to get another wavering tear out of you if it kills me. Or if it kills you. And we'll do the combo. No, we won't because you rolled away. Oh, wait, no, I knocked him over. Soft underbelly. Squishy. Let's intersperse even more attacks if possible. Yeah! You are pissed. Ow. Yeah, he is. He's, he's ever so slightly miffed. Uh, I don't want him to knock me back again because I think there's a zone right there. I want that wavering tier. Invincibility frames! Oh, I didn't need to do it, but... My wavering tier. Oh, or an Agnactor scale. Why? Something came off of him? That's weird. Either way, I'm grateful, because I heard someone say the Agnactor set is pretty good, and I think... Oh, he's moved areas already? And I think I mentioned in the previous part that... I already have part of the Agnactor set unlocked, for some reason. I think I got it when I first got access to the volcano, weirdly. And I better make sure to reapply my paintball, just in case. I'm a bit paranoid about that. 
Yeah, I don't know why I got access to it. It's the handpiece so early. I guess because it requires less bits than anything else he unlocks and maybe killing his babies provided the parts I needed rather than needing to kill him. I don't know. Oh, and I left my... Well, actually, I did put my Steam on busy. I forgot to put it on not being on. I forgot to switch it off. That's the words I'm looking for. I forgot to switch Steam off. Oh, dear, oh, dear. He's moving ultra quick again. That's to be expected, I suppose. So I'm just going to try and chill out back here. Actually, no, I shouldn't do that because then he might fire the beam at me. Let's just get some hits in and see if we can piss him off. That's going to be a body slam. Ooh, that was perfectly timed. Not this time, though. Oh, actually, I was I was in the right bit of the coil that he didn't hit me. Not for his head stomp, though. Dive into him. There we go. I'm kind of stuck on the, the curb of the lava here. Oh, you're moving awfully slow. Oh, dear. What a shame. It isn't that you're almost dead, is it? I'm just getting myself buffed up here, maximum stamina, etc. Right, so let's find out where this guy's nest is. I'm guessing it's Area 7. It's the area that makes the most sense to me. Uh, Yeah, okay, you're rolling. Fair enough. And then I think you're going to go this way. Uh, let's see. No, he went to Area... T oh, Area 10. Yeah, Area 10 makes total sense. Bad thing about Area 10 is it's very cramped and it's also filled with the, the young of this thing and I also can't get to directly, I have to run up the bloody mountain so it's going to have time to sleep a little bit. Not too much. Still it's good to know, also I totally forgot to use some of those barrel bombs I got given, maybe I should. I don't think it'll matter much because it's almost dead but still. Uh, we'll run up here then. Oh my throat is sore. Cold suck and are overly persistent. Yeah, look at it. Provide, uh, surrounded by its young, breathing fire from its mouth, which may mean it's enraged. I mean, I'd be pissed too if I was almost dead. Can I hurt you now? Yeah, I've dealt enough damage that he's not super protected. It must have just been, I don't know, like the dry lava on him when the fight started. So let's see how long this takes. Well, it's going to take a little while longer if my weapon degrades. Quickly, 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 and done. Excellent. Where'd he go? Cooling effect is worn off. Of course it has. That's gonna hurt. Hiya. Yeah, you're gonna be... You're gonna be dead! <laughs> and there we go! That is the Agnactor defeated. Quite quick again. Was that 23 minutes almost on the dot? Right, could your young kindly piss off while I harvest your organs? What do I get of you? I get... The hide! And also health recovery, which is very nice, thank you. I get another scale, which is good, that's two. And then, while I take a drink as well. Don't hit me while I salvage a scale, that's the words I was wanting. Now you're getting punished. So um, we'll see what else we get in the, the mission over, quest over screen. There we go, I think that's all of them dead. It's hard to tell because the damn corpse is in the way. Right, that drink of juice I was going to have. Ah, dear, dear. Don't do your butt dance right against my leg, Kyumba. It freaks me out. You can do your moonwalk, though. That is fantastic. I love when he does that. Yes, Steam, I know people are coming online. Thank you. Right, let's see what we get. And we get... We get... Oh, we got a lot for winding him. Wow. Okay, so we've got another shell, and a uh, scalding pleura, the organ and shell from a chest. Okay, so that's what gives it its heat rays. Lava nugget, I think I need those for one of the upgrades too. Firestone, armor sphere, dragon toadstool, I've got one of those things, that is interesting. Then we've got his beak, a scale, a scale, and a hide. Okay, well there we go, and that was my first Agnactor kill. Thank you very much for watching everybody. Not over yet, don't worry. I was just saying that as kind of a break and a chance to have another drink. We are going to take a quick look at what armor it drops first of all. <clears throat> so we'll run up here and speak to the Wyvern artist or artisan, whatever, the blight, blah 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 blah. No new great swords and then armor craft. 
yeah, there we go, the Agnactor male. So it needs fins, hide shells, and great roguery hides for some reason. What does it look like? Oh, that is nice looking. I like that. And okay, and it's obviously good fire defense, bad water, bad ice as well, actually. So maybe I was doing extra damage to it without realizing. And it has attack up small, oh, guard, sharpness, fire aura, and potential. Right, anyway, that's going to conclude this video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Ta ta for now.